This big boy here is Heatran. And honestly, I don't think I've used him enough in the past. Heatran has been a staple in the OU tier since generation six, seven, and even eight. But in generation nine, we made him 10 times stronger with terrestrialization. Today we battle with our Sneasler team that we built and I will show you that Walking Wake, Sneasler, and Landorus aren't the only threats on this team. Like and subscribe and let me know which Pokemon do you think is an undercover threat. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck you guys doing today? Listen, man, today we're going to be using our brand new Sneezer team that we did build. And in fact, I kind of like this team. There's a little bit of highs, a little bit of lows of the team, but I think it's just about right. So today, as you guys can see on your screen, we're going to be battling Sora in the OU tier. And Sora has a pretty interesting uh, team, if I must say myself. If they do have any links, I will be sure to put them in the description below. Go check them out. And uh, yeah, if you guys do want to battle me or you know you want to battle Sora, all you have to do is join the link in the description below. That will be our Discord link. And uh, yeah, you can come chat, battle, trade, whatever you want to do. We're almost 125 members, so you should definitely join. But today, Sora is going to be bringing a Hisuian Samurott, a Grimmsnarl, a Dragapult, a Sneasler, a Hisuian Voltorb, and a uh, Corviknight. So we're going to be bringing uh, Honey Badger, the Sneasler, Lando Norris, the Landorus, Krakatoa, the Heatran, Vanessa, the Hatterene, the Godzilla, the uh, Baxcalibur, and then Blue, the Walking Wake. So, leads for us. Leads for us, leads for us, leads for us. Well, listen, man, we can't take on the Corviknight if we wanted to. So I feel like he's either going to lead with Corviknight or he's going to lead off with the um, Corviknight or the Grimmsnarl. So you know what? I'm going to lead off with Krakatoa just because uh, I think it's a good lead for both of them. And maybe we can kind of bluff the Stealth Rocks or the Taunt. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm picking. So without further ado, let's jump into battle. All right, so Sora is going to lead off with the Hisuian Samurott. We're going to lead off with Krakatoa. This isn't the worst thing for us, but it's not the best thing. There's not really a lot I can do here. I mean, I could Terra. Boy, I could get that first turn Terra if I wanted to, man. I could. I really could, and that would do a lot of damage. Especially when the thing is water type. Hmm. The only thing is a Ceaseless Edge would hurt a little bit. But you know what? I'm willing to catch this thing off guard. I'm going to Terra first turn of the battle and easily just hit this thing with a Terra Blast Grass. I feel like that's our, a very decent move, especially that's what it's really made for with like Rotom Wash and, and everything running around. So I feel like honestly, not a bad play. And plus, if I had to Terra one Pokemon on this team, I honestly want it to be Heatran, to be honest. So he's going to get a Swords Dance off. That's a little scary. I am not going to lie with you. I am not going to lie with you. That's a little scary, but we are going to get the Terra Blast off here. So what does this do? How much does this do? Let's go, Heatran. One shot. Yes. Uh, that's what I wanted to do that for. That's why I wanted Terra Blast Grass Heatran. Let's go. The baby, let's go. All right, so he's going to go into Nagak Ana, which is going to be... The Hisuian Electrode. Okay. Now the question is, is what does this thing want to do? I feel like going for a Magma Storm won't be our worst play. And the good thing is, I just realized that the Samurai didn't get a Ceaseless Edge off. So, dub in my book. Now, I don't know what this thing wants to go for. But you know what? I'm going to go for a Magma Storm. He is going to Terra. He is going to Terra. What are you Terra into? Are you Terra Flying? Terra Fire? Terra Ice? Okay, that's interesting. And the best part is we're assault vested. We're assault vested. And honestly, Electrode only has speed. He doesn't have anything. So he's gonna Terra Blast here, but I don't think he one shots us like like we one shot first. I am assault vested, so I do take this. Right? Like a boss! Like an absolute champ, I take it. I take those! He Tran does this! He Tran does this! Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be I'm going to give it a buck 50, right? I really thought that the um I really thought that Sneasler was going to come. And the reason why is cuz a Dire Claw would hit really hard. But you know what? There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go straight into Landers. The reason why is cuz Landers walls this thing for one and number 2 number 2 it's Landers, right? It, it's Landers. It has to, you know? It's Landers. We get the intimidate and Whatever he wants to go for, 
is he perfectly fine. So we're gonna switch into Landris. Landris is gonna come out looking all mustachio and Lando Norris. And in case you don't, guys don't know who Landis, or Lando Norris is, Lando Norris, geez, can't talk today. He is a uh, F1 driver and he's like the greatest ever to do it. So uh, he does have the white herb here. Uh, close combat's not gonna do a dang thing to us. So that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So we have the Samurai down and he's gonna get hit by Rocky Helmet. So who's the real loser here? All right, so the question is here is, uh, what do I think he's gonna go into? He does have the Corviknight. He does have the Corviknight. Uh, are Stealth Rocks worth getting up? I feel like they are. Cause I do feel like he's gonna switch into the, I do feel like he is gonna switch into the Braviary, or not the Braviary, I don't know why. Braviary, what? I think he's gonna switch into the Corviknight. So let's get some stealth rocks up. Let's get some stealth rocks up. He is going to acrobatics here. Does a decent amount of damage, I will say. But the rocky helmet is doing just what it needs to do. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So we're going to get that off, which is perfect. Now, I do kind of want to switch. Although, I do want to kind of switch. Because Grim Snarl... Mm, I don't know because Grim Snarl. I don't really have anything to wall the Grim Snarl. But I would like to get the Intimidate on it. I would like to get the Intimidate. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's go. Ah, actually, no. I'm an Earthquake here. He's going to Dire Claw. I don't think that takes us out. That doesn't take us out. And I think we get the Earthquake off. Let's go! We're going crazy. Mm, love to see it. This team looking magnificent. Bro, amazing. I'm actually kind of shocked right now that we're doing this well. What could possibly go wrong? Cor Corviknight does come out. It's going to take some stealth rock damage here. Now, the question is here, is he going to... Is he Rocky Helmet and is he going to defog? I'm going to U-turn here. Hopefully, he's not Rocky Helmet. He is Rocky Helmet. I knew it. But the good thing is here is he doesn't have any stealth rocks in, so we can at least get one Intimidate off with the with the Landers. So, not the worst thing for us. Now, the question is here is, do I go? I'm going to go into Vanessa. And the reason why I want to go into Vanessa is because I do want to get off some store powers. So, I think I'm going to call Mind. He is going to defog here. Okay, well, I just defogged my own rocks away. I just defogged my own rocks away. What's wrong with me, bruh? All right, well, either way, I think getting a Calm Mind up here won't be the worst thing for us. He might switch. I do have a feeling he's going to switch. He is going to switch. Okay, he could go into Dragapulse. He could go into Dragapult. Dragapulse? Dragapult. Zuniga is going to be the Grim Snarl. Listen. Listen, 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 right? Listen, listen, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it because I'm going to be calm minding all day. I'm going to calm mind again. He's going to trick. Does you have choice scarf? Please don't have it. Lagging tail? Okay, that's actually, no, I'm actually cool with that. I'm actually cool with that. I, I'm, I'm, listen, I, I would rather have a lagging tail than any choice item. So trick, that's a little funny. That's a little funny. All right, well, I'm going to go for a drag, up, or I'm going to go for a, uh, a, a uh, Dazzling Gleam here because Daz Dazzling Gleam hits his entire team hard. So let's go for a Dazzling Gleam. He is going to Spear Break here. How much is that going to do to us? Uh, does a quarter. Does a quarter, and unfortunately, our special attack is going to drop, but this should take this out. No. Just barely. All right, let's go for a Dazzling Gleam. Spear Break is going to do about half, but this should take it out. So, actually, we just did our thing with this thing. Perfect. Okay, cool. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Because the good thing is, I'm not really worried about the Dragapult. In the real... Well, actually... Actually... With the Corviknight, I might be a little bit. I might be. So, A. Morgan's going to come in. Which is going to be the Dragapult. That's fine. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam here. He's probably going to Shadow Ball here, which is fine. We are at plus two special defense, and we are very special defensive. We live on eight! Let's go! Now, unfortunately, I am... I think I'm at regular... I don't know if a Dazzling Gleam takes it out. 
Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, we are looking absolutely amazing right now. Oh my gosh. I didn't even need to use Sneasler. Built a Sneasler team just to not even use him. So his last Pokemon is going to be Corviknight here. We are definitely not going to outspeed. So let's just go for a stored power. Uh, see what we can do. Okay. Now, I don't... How fast is Corviknight? Corviknight has a base 67 speed. And my Heatran has a base 77 speed. So, I think we can outspeed with Krakatoa. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to straight up Magma Storm here. We get the Magma Storm off. Perfect. And that just one shot. It. Heatran is go -head. But yeah, so that's going to be our battle with Sora today. That was a super good one. Really got to show off what this key, or what this team could do. I'm not going to lie. Did not expect to one bla or one shot the Terra Blast. Did not expect to Magma Storm one shot the Electrode. And also didn't expect to basically one shot the... Uh, the Corbin Knight. But if you guys did enjoy today's Wi-Fi battle, then drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure to subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from myself. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comments below of a Pokemon that you want to see us build around and what your favorite part of the Wi-Fi battle was today. Make sure you guys go ahead and join the Discord. We're almost to 125 members in the Cypher BLK Discord channel. Like I said, go join. Join up. Go talk some trades. Go talk some battles. Go talk some memes. Whatever you want. We're almost to 125 members. would greatly appreciate it. Go show some love to Sora if she has any links. He or she uh, they, if they have any links in the, uh, if any links, go check them out in the description. I'll leave them there. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get down here and start working on the next Wi-Fi battle. So please have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.